Hello everyone, I'm Courtney Lyle and today we're talking with sophomore Angie Bjorklund. Angie, talk about last season and ending it with a national championship. What was that like for you? As a freshman, you know, that doesn't happen too often and um, it was really, you know, it's been my dream to win a national championship and to come in with that, uh, our senior class that we had last year was just, I was fortunate for that and um, just to be a part of that and to work towards my dream and then finally accomplish it. Well, what did you learn from those seniors last year? Yeah. Number one, I learned what it takes to win. You know, they showed me the ropes. Uh, I learned all last year, you know, it was a long season, but, you know, they taught me that, especially towards the end, that, you know, hard work and, and just giving it all you got and leaving it all out on the court is, is going to get it done, and they definitely showed me that. You have a, a pretty young team this year, breaking in six new freshmen. Is that hard to break them in? Um, I think, you know, so far with the preseason conditioning, with um, some of the few practices we've had with coach, they, they're doing a great job. I'm looking forward to this year. So. Has anybody stood out and impressed you? Um, I mean, they have all contributed differently in different ways. You know, they've um, all of them have done a great job. Uh, nothing was too specific, but I think each, like I said, each one of them is going to contribute something different to our team, and that's what that's what it's going to take. Is all of them getting? This, they all need to step up in order for us to win again this year. During this off season, have you focused on any um, specific aspect of your game that you wanted to improve? Um, well, the off season, as you know, with my uh, knee, I tore my meniscus, so it was uh, a lot of rehab going on. I didn't have a whole lot of, you know, time to to work on that. But um, when I did get back into it. When I was, you know, slowly easing my way back into it, I did a lot of shooting again, you know, just working on my shot and a lot of ball handling stuff, just, you know, just guard work and um, always working on my strength and conditioning. Kate McMahon is also one that just came off the back of an injury she set out last season. How does she look in practice? Kate looks great. Um, I'm excited to play with her. Didn't get a chance too much last year. Um, just having her back, especially, you know, both on both ends of the court. She's just like a spark plug out there. Just her energy every time she um, does get the opportunity to play for her knees not bugging her. Um, you know, it, it does make a difference. I'm excited to play with her. Alex Fuller is kind of the lone senior on this team. Has she stepped into a leadership role? Oh, definitely. Alex has definitely stepped up this year. Um, you know, whether it's showing us, taking us individually at the side and saying, especially with the freshmen, saying, you know, you need to work on this, you need to do this, or um, or just as a team bringing us in and getting, you know, getting our mind right right from the start. She's definitely taking that leadership role. Pretty well. Best of luck to Angie and the rest of the Lady Vaults. They play in their first exhibition game on November 6th against Carson Newman.